to walk you through the process of trading positional tokens with the AMM. We'll buy up tokens, down tokens. I'll show you the process of selling them back to the AMM because you can do that at any point before maturity you choose. And then we'll come back later on. One of those two tokens should be successful. So we'll show you the process for claiming. So the first step, you want to go to the market's homepage and connect your wallet. So you know you're connected because you can see your address listed up here. I'm going to do this demo on Optimism. So to complete transactions on Optimism, you'll need some Ethereum in your wallet. Then you'll need SUSD uh, as collateral to purchase positions. You can also do this on Polygon. You'll need Matic for transactions there and USDC to purchase positions. Okay, so first of all, what is the AMM? AMM stands for Automated Market Maker. And it's basically just a process for users to interact with the protocol without having to buy and sell positions from other users. So each AMM market is seeded with initial liquidity and that allows traders to trade with the AMM and then prices for positions are come to using the Black-Scholes pricing model. So it's currently used in a lot of financial products for derivatives and it takes the strike price, the maturity date, and then volatility all into consideration and crunches a number that the AMM finds suitable to price positions so that it doesn't get blown out by traders. So first of all, let's find a market to trade. Uh, the way you kind of want to do this, take a look at the market listings. Ethereum is currently at 1936. So let's find a strike price nearby for this example. I think 1700 is good. Uh, you want to make sure they're still trading. So the phase is listed here. This one is trading. There's nine days and 11 hours until it completes. Then you want to make sure there's AMM liquidity available. So for the 1700 strike price, you can see there's plenty of up liquidity. That's in green. And same thing, plenty of down liquidity in red. And then listed next to that is the price for each up or down token. So let's take a look at the market. So you can use this trading view chart or any chart to get a feel for what types of positions you want to take. Uh, let's take it to one hour. So for this market, with a current price of 1936 for Ethereum, the strike price is 1700 and it matures on June 10th. That's a price difference of just over 12%. Basically, if we find that on the chart, 1700 somewhere down here, below 1725 here, and here's June 10th. So if I assume that the price of Ethereum won't take a huge drop below this level on that day of maturity, then maybe this is a, a good trade to make. This is a good uptrade. There's good odds that the price of Ethereum will remain above that strike price. But because the odds are pretty good that that price will stay above the 1700 and not drop over 12% on June 10th, the price is actually pretty high. It's 83 cents for every dollar potential profit to claim. Now, if you were to switch this to a down position, you would be saying, I think the price of Ethereum will end up below 1700 on the maturity date of June. Because that seems much less likely, it's much cheaper to buy down. It's only 22 cents for every dollar of potential profit. Let's go back to buy. And what we will do, we will enter the amount that we want to buy. And you can base the amount you want to spend by kind of reverse engineering it. So we know that whatever we put into this, if we're correct, we're going to get 117% of it, right? Minus 83 here. So if I want to spend 10 SUSD on this position, I can put in 11.7. So 11.7 SUSD. Okay, and see, and with that, it's 9.8. I can go up just a tiny bit. And like I said, just kind of creep up on it this way. There you go, that's right under 10. That's what I wanted to spend. So I can spend this amount of SUSD at 83 cents per dollar to claim, if I'm correct. And I'll come to 11.9 SUSD. So again, if I'm correct, the price of Ethereum remains above the strike price here of 1700. I can come back after spending this almost 10 SUSD and claim 11.9. That's $1.92 of profit, but that's you know over 19% profit. 
Oh, the first thing we have to do is confirm the transaction so that the protocol can spend our SUSD. So I've already done this, but you would have a transaction here to click. You would just simply run through the transaction in MetaMask. Once that confirms, you come back and then you'll have this buy. So let's go ahead and buy this position. Okay, so that transaction is confirmed. And we now hold that 11.7 SUSD worth of up tokens for this 1700 strike price in the market. And we can actually see that by clicking on our wallet. This will take us to our profile page. All right, so we're on the trading profile and we can see under my positions, there's that June 10th maturity date, 1700 strike price market. We have 11.9 SUSD worth of up tokens and apparently that position is worth 917. It does drop a bit after you purchase the value. Now, once this is matured, we can click here, we can come back and claim, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy it down as well, show you that process and that evaluation. And then that way, at least one of these will end up successful. We can come back later and claim. You can also see here's the history. So today I bought this market token. Here is my stats overall. So downtown what I paid. If I can claim this, that'll go back to 100%. So let's go back to that market. So market homepage. I'm going to find that 1700 strike price uh, for June 3rd market for ETH. Okay, so we're back on the market page. So this is showing now that I do have positions here, 11.9 SGST worth of up. So let's go ahead and buy it down now. And this time, we'll do the same thing. We'll try to spend 10. But we know that it's only 0.21 per dollar of potential profit. It's a bit. So if I put in 50 up here, claim okay so that's a little over 10 i can drop that down a bit there you go now it's just under 10 how close you want to get it all right you want to do that but that'll work so that's pretty close so we got 21 cents per dollar to claim i can spend less than 10 susd on this down token and i can if correct claim 45 susd it's a 35 SUSD profit and a 360% profit. But because the odds that the price of Ethereum in 1941 is going to drop below this strike price over $200, $241 in just over nine days, that's why you can spend so much less and get so much more potential profit because the AMM has decided that the price of that position should be lower because it's less likely. So once you've entered the amount you want, let's go ahead and buy this position as well. And this time you get to see the approval transaction. Uh, since I approved an upspend, but I didn't approve a down. Okay. So you can leave this click and approve all, or you can unclick it and approve just the amount that you want to spend here. Okay, that confirmed. Okay, so that confirmation transaction went through. So now I can complete the purchase transaction for these down positional tokens. Buy. Okay, so that confirmed, and now we hold both down and up tokens. And you can see when I switch, it'll show me. Here I have positions for both. So let's say there's a huge move in either direction, and you just want to profit. You don't want to wait for the maturity date for something to change, um, right? So assuming that there is a huge move, that would automatically change the prices of the positions. And if that changes favorably from whichever position you're holding, you may want to just sell it. You can do that by changing the toggle here. And then you can hit max for the total that you hold. Remember for the up, I had 11.9. Let's bring that in. And I can sell that back for 9.17 SUSD. It's a little bit less than I paid. And that's to allow for uh, no gaming on the system. But like I said, if you wait enough time and the price changes a bit, this could become a good idea to sell back before maturity. Here it is for down. Max, you can see I bought 45. So that one actually went down a lot more. Okay, so that's how you buy both up and down tokens from the AMM after assessing a market. You can switch the toggle to sell if you want to sell positional tokens that you're holding. But uh, for now, we have a position in both directions. So at least one of these will be correct. We'll check back on June 10th and I'll show you how to claim your winnings. All right, so we're back. Those positions we purchased have matured. So as a quick summary, 
We found an AMM market that we wanted to trade. We analyzed the markets based on the strike price, the maturity date. We used a chart. And in this case, I actually bought an up and a down token for the same market so that we could ultimately at least have one to claim and show you the process. So I'm back on my trading profile here and I can see I don't have any open positions anymore because the positions I purchased for the $1,700 ETH market matured today, June 10th. So if I click on mature positions, I do have something. Let's see what that says. So below here's my uh, loser RIP. This was the down token or 1700 and it would have paid out 45 SUSD. I think I paid $10 for this one. So unfortunately, I can claim nothing, not, can't do anything with this. It stays in my history as an RIP. But since I also purchased an up, I can claim that one. It was a much lower potential profit for that one. I paid 10 SUSD and now I can claim 1190, but it was still successful because the price of ETH at 1788 ended above the strike price of 1700 maturity date. And we can kind of see my stats here. I now have a claimable amount of $11.90 worth of SUSD. This is the SUSD I have in my wallet at the moment. And then you can see the stats here. So at the moment, I spent 1994, about 10 for each of these positions. And I haven't claimed my winnings yet. So I am looking at an almost 100% loss. So let's go ahead and claim the winner. So I'll click here. You can see I can exercise the following positions, the 11.9 SUSD for the $1,700 ETH market. So all I have to do is click exercise position. All right, so that was successful. All right, so let's take a look at our profile and see how that updated. All right, cool. So we have 30.73 SUSD in our wallet since we claimed. We don't have anything else that's claimable. And our stats here have actually updated. So because I lost one of those positions, uh, I'm down $8 total, the negative 40% gain out of the $20 that I have spent on the platform so far. So that's the process. All you have to do once the market has matured, navigate back to the market and exercise it, and you'll end up with your winnings in your wallet.